Valentine's Day is fast approaching and in this video we will look at writing a Valentine's Day card in English. This is Learning English Pro and I'm Jer, I'll be narrating your lesson today. The topics for discussion are Are you a secret admirer? Then we'll cover some of my favourite love poems and we'll finish up with some additional elements you can add to your Valentine's Day card. So let's start with our first topic. Are you a secret admirer? So what is a secret admirer? It is someone who is secretly attracted to someone else. A secret admirer is anonymous or unknown. It might be because you're nervous or shy. So before you write your card, you need to know if you are anonymous or known to the person you are writing to as this can affect how we will write our Valentine's Day card. So let's look at how we would begin our Valentine's Day card when we want to be anonymous. So after you've picked your special card, open up and have a look at the inside. And remember, there's no real rules when writing a Valentine's Day card. These are just guidelines that I'm offering you. Typically, you can begin writing your message in these three places indicated on the screen. As an anonymous person, you could write, To my Valentine. This is quite nice and quite classic. Or you could keep it simple with, Dear Valentine. Or you can simply use the person's name, Dear Elizabeth. So next, we're going to write something very nice to your Valentine. I think you are amazing. Or how about, You make me smile. Or simply, Happy Valentine's Day. Next up, let's have a look at how you would begin to write your card when the person who is receiving it will know it's from you. You can use the beginnings that we've already looked at, but if we want to make the card a little bit more personal, we can begin our card with something like, To my boyfriend, or to my wife, or to my partner. And if you want to keep it really simple, you can just write, Dear John, or to John. So what could you write next to the person that you love? I love you so much. Or how about thinking of you always. And one that I like myself, I am so lucky to have you in my life. Or why not write all of these things in a card? Let's take a look at our card and see how we are progressing. So we have Dear John. And here I've written it in the upper left hand corner. Following this, Happy Valentine's Day. I love you so much. I am so lucky to have you in my life. When the person is known to you, you can write a little bit more personally. Let's move on to my favourite love poems. I hope you really like them. The first one is a classic that I'm sure appears on nearly every Valentine's Day card. Roses are red, violets are blue, sugar is sweet and so are you. And next, I don't think you could ever feel all the love I have to give, and I'm sure you've never realised you've been my will to live. Our next poem is, Forever in my heart is where you will be. No one else will enter because you have the only key. And on to our final poem. You always know just what to say. Just talking to you makes my day. So now it's up to you to pick whichever poem you like. Let's move on to our next topic, additional elements. So let's add in some poems to our Valentine's Day card. And to be extra romantic, let's add in some love hearts. Again, there's no rules, so draw whatever you like, once it's romantic and fun, of course. So let's move on to finishing our card. And we want to finish our card with a sentiment of love. So let's begin by looking at how we would finish our card if we are known to the person receiving it. You could say, lots of love and your name. You can also include a few kisses, XXX. You could also say, all my love, George. Or my favourite, love always. If we want to remain anonymous, we could say, from your secret admirer. And we can put a few kisses here too. Or you could say, from your secret valentine. So now it's time to finish up our Valentine's Day card with adding from your secret admirer. And that's it. All you have to do is put it in the post or deliver it. 
And here are some extra tips to help you with writing your card. So first up, I would say, keep it simple. Don't use overly complicated language or try to be Shakespeare. And please don't prank or joke someone by sending them a fake Valentine's Day card. It's not nice. Just remember to be true to yourself and that love is love. So all that's left for me to say is thank you so much for watching. We really appreciate your support. I hope you have a wonderful Valentine's Day and that your lives are filled with love. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell to get an instant notification direct to your inbox every time we post a new fun English lesson. And before you go, please like this video. If you have any comments or a suggestion for us, please leave a comment below. We love to hear from our many, many supporters around the world. Follow us on social media like YouTube, Tumblr, Instagram and Facebook. Have a great day and remember, keep learning English like a pro.